Hey y'all, so I'm excited about what we're gonna show you today. Um, a little background. So back in 2013, my bride, Leslie, comes to me and says, hey, we need something for the boys to be able to do in our backyard. Um, 2013, they were three years old, so getting bigger, uh, running around the house doing different things. So she says to me, we need like a playground or a trampoline, something in the backyard. So. Of course, the wheels start turning uh, in my head, and uh, I come up with the first of many designs for the backyard that we now affectionately call the Livingston Brothers Adventureland. It is our own Disney theme park, mini Disney theme park. We're big Disney fans in our backyard, and we're going to show you that today. I'm going to take you with us. Now, when you first enter the backyard, this is the sign that greets you and guests coming in. It says, now entering Livingston Brothers Adventureland. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Welcome to Adventureland. Now, of course, you couldn't truly have a theme park without your own guide map so here is our guide map to Adventureland. These are available as you come in the backyard park in order for you to see where everything is so you don't get lost. Very easy to get lost back here, but here's the guide map. This is a quick overview for you to look at before we move any farther in this tour. Now the first thing you'll notice when you enter the park to the left is what we call the beach dune area. Leslie really likes this spot for the lounge chairs that are here. And we have brought in our own sand to make it a little beachy area. More theming over here. As I take you around some of the uh, spots in the park, you'll notice a big Adventureland uh, theme in the Disney parks. That is our favorite land of all the themed lands in the Magic Kingdom. Now directly opposite from the sand dune area, we have Dory's Reef here. See if you can spot Dory. There she is at the bottom. Nemo right above her and Bruce is sneaking up behind them. See if you can spot the mask from the movie where they get the address to find Nemo in the first one. There it is. Now, uh, directly above this seating area, look who it is. We have Peter Pan and Tinkerbell up there. He kind of keeps watch over things here in Adventureland. And approaching here is our lagoon. This probably took the longest to build. There's Caden J. Wave Caden J. The boys love playing in here and have since they were little. It's the perfect size for us. It's plumbed and filtered just like a normal pool, only smaller. Could not have done this without the help of my cousin Brandon. He's an expert at just about everything he does, but especially masonry. So he laid all the brickwork and helped me uh, with the plaster and the uh, rock laying for this. This is one of our favorite features back here in Adventureland. And I'll put some, uh, some before pics of, of uh, kind of our progress as we were building this up also. Here is the newest addition to Livingston Brothers Adventureland. This is Jumbo the Elephant. 
and he arrived just a few months ago. It is a direct tribute to the elephants in the Jungle Cruise ride as they're splashing and bathing. And he shoots water right into the lagoon, as you can see. All right, moving down the boardwalk toward the pirate ship, you'll see many more references to the line or the queue line in the Jungle Cruise. There's a sign from the queue line we buy and sell the rare and exotic. There's the skipper's quarters. We won't interrupt the skipper tonight. Livingston Brothers Adventureland. Got plenty of signage on both sides, just so you don't forget where you are here in the backyard park. There, of course, is a chalkboard for the boys to draw and write cool messages on as we approach the dock here to get on the pirate ship. Okay, so here is the attraction that started it all. This is the pirate ship. It's called the SS4 Brothers. We're gonna take you on a quick tour of that. This is the very first thing that we built in the backyard. This is our caretaker for the pirate ship. His name's One-Eyed Willie. We'll let you guys at home guess where he got that name. But walking up here, we have the rope swing. And they can hang on. The stairs that take you up to the upper deck with a flag back there. Have a bell to ring let you know we're ready to set sail you're up on the front deck or at the top deck this is where you walk the plank and go down the slide so inside the captain's quarters of the pirate ship we have these little door windows that we made whoops it's captain hook Looking in, peering through the window. Who do we have on this side? Mr. Smee, peering through the other window. No pirate ship would be complete, of course, without the treasure box full of treasure. Now, one of the features we added just in the last year is the splash bucket located up in the crow's nest of the pirate ship. Oh, there it goes. Believe you me, you do not want to be on the main deck when that thing spills out. It will get you drenched. Of course, it will feel good on a day like today. It's been pretty hot. But I will include some before pics of uh, the construction of this also to uh, kind of let you guys see what it looked like as we were building it. But again, this is one of the first things that we ever constructed. Okay, so as we're coming back off of the pirate ship, Juan kind of keeps guard here. Juan is our tiki bird. And of course, that's a reference from my favorite attraction in Adventureland at the Magic Kingdom, the Enchanted Tiki Room. So we're coming down. The next thing we added after the pirate ship was Ariel's Grotto, which is a sandbox that uh, the boys always love to play in. Out of the four, uh, the two smallest ones uh, like this the most at this point. They really like getting in here and digging around, but Scuttle and Sebastian, of course, in keeping with the Ariel, the Little Mermaid theme, are keeping watch over Ariel's Grotto. Just past the grotto, we have the sword box kind of speaks for itself. It's where the boys keep all of their important weapons and guns that they have to have in order to play in Adventureland. There's also some toys there for the lagoon. But this is one of my favorite spots. 
in all of Adventureland. One of my favorite animated movies is The Sword in the Stone. And here is our volcano island here in Livingston Brothers Adventureland. I'm not sure if you can see this. The sun's providing quite a glare, but it's erupting water as we speak. The volcano erupts water and it has a splash pad here. But you gotta watch out for the hippo. Now I wanted to provide a little closer shot of this. Now we actually um, took a picture of the Magic Kingdom sword in the stone tried to match it up the best we could but uh, the plaque is very similar our says the sword in the stone whoso pulleth out this sword of this stone and anvil is rightful ruler of adventure land and here's a picture of the twins and I tell you what that sword is in there really good I've never been able to to pull it out. I'm gonna keep trying. Now moving around the splash pad, I'm gonna take you inside the volcano. There's a little place to dig here in the corner with some jewels that you'll see. Hidden in there, there's the crystal skull. Do not disturb the crystal skull, whatever you do. And you can round through the corner here, go through the tunnel and out the back. All right, coming out of the back tunnel here. Don't go in that way. It says keep out danger. Here's a backside shot of Volcano Island. And I will also put some before pics so you guys can see kind of the progress when we started building this also and compare it to what it looks like now. Okay, heading up the pathway now, just around the corner of the pirate ship, you will see one of the boys' all-time favorite spots. This is Redbeard's Cannon Crest. And as you can see, these cannons truly fire. But don't worry, nothing dangerous here. You're just gonna get wet. They are aimed right at the back of the pirate ship for some serious pirate battles, some epic pirate battles. And all the while, Captain Redbeard is keeping watch. Here's a head-on shot of Redbeard's cannon crest. As Redbeard is keeping watch over all of Adventureland. So the twins, approached me about a year ago and said, Dad, why don't you have a section in the park that you've built for us? You've got all this cool stuff for us. Why don't you build you something? So when they said that, we kind of came up with this. So that's the fertility idol on the pedestal. And this, of course, is from Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm a big Indiana Jones fan. The boys now love Indiana Jones also, but this section here there's the Egyptian Strider statue that uh, best friend Red Black found for me. This is my section of the park. If you were to ask the boys, that's what they would say anyway. Now we're here at our Seven Dwarves mini golf course. We put this in a couple of years ago. There's Gray at the top. He's about to tee off and try his luck. There's a hole up at the top. Goes down this tube here. Comes out to this hole at the bottom. You get it in there? Oh, it's in. Oh, that was close, dude. But we love Snow White. We love the mine train at the Magic Kingdom. And uh, this theming is kind of our tribute to that as we uh, we did want some sort of mini golf back here, so just decided to go with the Snow White. Was that two? Three. Hole in three, not bad. But up at the very top, you'll see the old hag. Stay away from her. You'll have your choice of clubs, and there are several 
golf balls to choose from in the cauldron up there. When you're done, you can slide down the slide, back down the bottom. So guys, that is a quick overview of our backyard. And uh, since 2013, as I stated before, we've been kind of working on this together as a family, me and the boys. Uh, and Leslie has provided input and support. I have an awesome wife for letting us do this in the backyard. We love to entertain and have company over, spend time together as a family. We do spend a lot of time out here and uh, it was just something fun to do and to, and to kind of incorporate that Disney theming that we love so much was uh, was kind of cool and fun to do also. But I'm going to also try to get some shots up there at the top of the hill that you can see. And also when the sun goes down, I want to get some shots of uh, how it looks at night because that's, uh, that's really cool also. All right guys, as promised, here is the backyard at night. We're all lit up. Ooh, there's the towel box. I forgot to mention that's where we keep all of the towels for the boys just to, to grab before they come in if they've been in the lagoon or playing on the splash pad or with the cannons or so forth. They can just dry off with the towel already stocked up. Just perusing around kind of get a glimpse of what everything looks like at night. One thing I um, also wanted to mention is we have downloaded the music loop from Adventureland. So we're able to play the theme music at the park just on command through our Alexa, which is cool. Here's Leslie and Gray enjoying some hangout time on this summer evening. Gray, what's your favorite part about the backyard? Coming out here and watching TV. Coming out here and watching TV, especially this time of year. Absolutely, Leslie, thank you for letting us build this. What's You're your welcome. What's your favorite part about the backyard? Um, I guess the fireplace. The fireplace in the fall? Yes. Yeah? All right, we're gonna continue to look around, let everybody see what it looks like at night. Here's the lagoon. KJ's been in the water for hours. He's just now getting out. Here's a look at everything lit up, including the lagoon, including the Livingston Jungle Cruise sign. It kind of is the centerpiece of the park. And here is the mini golf course all lit up. The old hag witch in the back there. All right, moving past the lagoon, you can see the water is illuminated under the dock as you go up onto the pirate ship, which is a pretty cool effect. And there's Captain Redbeard, once again, keeping watch all lit up with the cannons. All right, Gray, as we're closing out, I think we've given everybody a good glimpse into our backyard adventure land. Is there anything you want to say as we close this one out? See you next time. See you next time, guys.